All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Off the Rails with your host, Austin Train. Uh, with me is uh, uh, ringer for the Special Olympics, Brian <laughs> Gower. <laughs> Uh, we are, as always, taped in front of a live studio audience here, deep within your mother's cavernous pussy. Uh, just echoey. Just very. That's what the echo is. <laughs> it's, but it's, it's not. Con- it's not a mic. It's not a mic effect. It's <laughs> it's, it's, put- it's the natural acoustics. <laughs> Bunch of <laughs> cobwebs and shit. So uh, the Super Bowl is coming up. Yeah, uh, you guys might be hearing this after the Super Bowl is played, but I'm gonna make my prediction. Mm-hmm. The Philadelphia Kegels <laughs> will beat the Kansas City Queefs <laughs> by a score of 420 to 69. <laughs> Over under 911. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. man, you excited? Uh, you don't watch football. No, I don't. But there is it this Sunday? Yeah, so they had the Pro Bowl and uh so like Basically, <laughs> they finally realized after 60 years that football's the Pro Bowl is the all star game uh-huh. for football. But it's they realized that football is so dangerous they shouldn't have an all star game because <laughs> there's nothing on the line. <laughs> yeah, and you could like you could die from playing football. So they're just like, yeah, we're gonna do flag football, <laughs> <laughs> and they did dodgeball. They had dodgeball, and then they just they just had all these like assorted. Uh, uh, game. It was kind of. I don't know. It was kind of fun to watch, but it's also like. So I mean, we're we're deciding it's not worth it for our players. So we're just gonna have them play Madden two thousand. <laughs> yeah, they should have <laughs> done that, dude. They should have just had them play Madden. Well, it was they. Uh, from what I heard, they were doing that during the you know the pandemic when they weren't doing. Yeah, know, they were simulating the, every team's like all time. Yeah. Like all their all time greats. <laughs> yeah, I actually like watched the, a lot of that. <laughs> okay, it wasn't. It, it was on like ESPN or it's shit like that, uh, right? Like they. I think it might have been on Twitter. They literally have like Twitter links to it. Yeah, it was like <laughs> e game e esports or whatever, and then yeah. people are like, "I need to have something on the TV so I can can drink beer during the week." All yeah. right, fine. We're gonna watch <laughs> the yeah. video game of sports, and I'm like, "It's not bad." Actually, I don't know. It was, it was kind of fun to watch. I don't know. Like, well, I don't know. I grew up with two older brothers, so watching people play video games. <laughs> yeah, it seems really pathetic, but it's actually fun. Yeah, it's because um, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just a game, you know. It's just like a game, and do you ever flash your watch people on Twitch play games? No, I think I signed up for Twitch and I never used it. Mm. It's I don't know. It kind of scares me. You know, I wanted to talk about. Since it is the Super Bowl coming up, I'm talking about my favorite football player of all time. Is a man by the name of O.J. Simpson. Orenthal James. Orenthal James. The juice. <laughs> yeah. Greatest player of all time. They played uh, for the Giants, right? No. So he played for USC in college, uh-huh. University of Southern California. And then he played for the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. And the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, yeah. Giants. Giant. Okay, yeah. And then he played for the defense team. Yeah, yeah. San Francisco. <laughs> that's what it was. Oh, then he played dumb for the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man, you know, people get mad at OJ a lot, but here's the thing. Ron Goldman, zero Heismans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How many 2,000-yard rushing seasons yeah. does Nicole Brown, did Nicole Brown have? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Okay, so the juice got him beat, dude. Yeah. Honestly, it might have been his greatest play. Is <laughs> <laughs> for sure killing two people uh, and getting uh, away with it. Getting away. When they were releasing the new Ford Bronco, mm-hmm. it would be, like, be great if it was for an ad campaign. They had <laughs> OJ just like... With the glove on, just going, <laughs> he just, he he just like, out the window, like, oh, and he drives off in a white front. The new two thousand twenty-two to do those commercials, it would be the hottest thing. <laughs> the, it would be like the internet, which is because commercials are so bad now. Yeah, they've only gotten worse. They got to bring back OJ for the Ford Bronco, <laughs> the twenty twenty-three Ford like, Bronco. There's even there's even more storage space, and then it's like two. Huge bags being thrown into the bag, <laughs> and he's throwing them in there. Just, <laughs> Secret compartments. <laughs> We're slashing prices. We're These slashing are ki- killer prices. deals <laughs> on the full broadcast. Uh, if but, the price don't fit, you must quit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
because you could still like or like people still you know will have <laughs> oj simpson jerseys and it doesn't make you don't make that connection right away if you're wearing like do people still wear them like a throwback yeah That's i've heard it's old. just like all right i'm just i'm wearing uh, the jersey today and then people are like Oh, you see Simpson on a 49ers. <laughs> it's just just like a, a, there's a blood splatter. Yeah. Like just going out like that. <laughs> you know, my favorite, I'm going to go through my top six athletes of all time. So like I already said, OJ Simpson. Uh, then you got Michael Vick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you have Darren Sharper. <laughs> I'm Oscar I'm, Pretorius. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, uh, Hope Solo. Do you know what Hope Solo? I don't know. Hope Solo, I think, beat up her. I oh. think she beat up, I, I think, yeah, she beat up her boyfriend or something. She kicked his ass. She fucked him up, dude. She's she's young, dude. She'd be, like, scary to fight. Yeah. She got, like, she's hot, but she has, like, a weird, she, like, jack. she has a weird glare. No, like, you know, like, you just see somebody's eyes and you see them smiling, like, something is wrong. Like they have like a, like something a, went wrong. Something's deranged in there. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. So like, oh yeah, yeah, you don't look. And also, Hope Solo is like that's like a made up name. Like I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if they just made her in a lab. Yeah, or it's just like, hmm, you know what is a thing? Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new, you just, you just, they you just, just totally take, took uh, it from the first Star Wars new movie. New Hope, and then, all right. A know, new Hope Solo. And then, you know, hope, and you know who was cool? Han Solo. Okay, boom, here you go. There's some people with their names are too perfect. You're like, that can't be your actual name. Well, yeah, or, I don't know, did you, did you ever, like, find, did, did your like parents ever say, like, why they chose Austin as the name? Or no, like my a mom. Name or anything it's like that. such a dumb. Re- my mom was at a Harlem Globetrotters game. <laughs> <laughs> they played just there. No, there was like one of the guys' name was like something Austin or Austin something. <laughs> yeah, this sweet like, oh, Georgia yeah, I'm Brown play after. <laughs> They're spinning the ball. Do 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 do. swinging. <laughs> yeah, like she's giving birth to me, and they're like humming "Sweet Georgia Brown." <laughs> yeah, and just like, <laughs> and then she's like spinning my like I'm a baby, and she's yeah, like she's, spinning she's, me on her finger. The doctors do 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 do. No, like she passes me, but the umbilical cord like brings me back. <laughs> Uh, it's like you bet against the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> they, they were too. They were too to lose. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I always think like I think my first name. It's just like oh well, we like that name. I'm like okay, just Brian. And then my middle name. I think my whole family. Every it's like since my dad's like oh my dad's middle name is James. So mm-hmm. I was like yeah, yours is gonna be the same thing, James. And then there's my sister's kids, both boys. He's like, mm. well, it's tradition. They're so named OJ Simpson Gower. <laughs> Orenthal James <laughs> Gower. <laughs> and Michael Vick Gower. <laughs> Michael Vick James Gower. The two greatest dual threat players of all time. So they're just choosing Triple that threat, name. really. <laughs> and I knew a guy, in a, in a, like friend in a band. Well, it's not like we're like homies, but it's like, you know, you, you know people in bands are like, yeah, yeah. He's, he was talking one time. He's like, yeah, so I think my, yeah, my parents chose my name from Star Wars. His name was Luke. He's like, are you really? shitting me? He's like, they really. He's like, no, they really love that movie. And so then they, I was, they it wasn't named Lucas. It was just always no Luke. Luke. It's like <laughs> it's not like it's like well, I, well, I <laughs> I get it. I mean, it's not like a Bible thing or anything. Like, no, we we named it because we really liked well, Star you Wars. Think you could name them after the star wars and just say it's from the bible yeah but no they told him directly he's like no it's from star wars and he's like yeah and i don't dislike the movie the movie's pretty sick too <laughs> he's pretty stoked on your name yeah <laughs> you're an adult and you're like yeah no my parents made the right choice yeah he said i mean parents really like the movie jaws so they <laughs> named me jaws yeah they really like shrek so they really like they really like michael myers so they changed the last name to myers yeah <laughs> And they really like Mike Myers too. Yeah. I'll be a <laughs> <laughs> He's just like stabbing people. I'll be a shagadelic. Well, these slices somebody. <laughs> uh, whatever happened to that guy? 
he made the love guru and then <laughs> that was like the final nail in his coffin well actually no he made a new thing recently you know because he likes to play multiple characters yeah, yeah. So the first guy to do that was Peter Sellers, and then Eddie Murphy did it, and then Mike Myers is the guy who did it. Uh, but he made something called the. Um, and then Martin it was Lawrence on. It was Big on Mama's Netflix. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, no, but like Martin Lawrence. Oh no, Martin Lawrence would play. Yeah, no, because there was that show Martin. on his show. He played the really ratchet chick too. Was it Shanene? Shanene, was it? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a great show dude i didn't watch enough of it <laughs> it was great i don't know i just remember like loving like i i, I always there the tv was always on but i didn't like most television shows mm-hmm. but i remember martin with fucking ruled uh and then um oh yeah the mike Myers. what was it there was something about like a conspiracy it, it's a show what was it called the quintumer Qu- like pentaveret or something it's about like a conspiracy but like they're nice people doing because they're all these characters but they're like nice guys <laughs> who are doing, doing a doing, conspiracy yeah they're doing good things yeah, yeah yeah or something like that and it was on netflix and i watched like two episodes and i was like i'm good yeah <laughs> i'm tapping out they i don't know i might go back i, I it's like on netflix or something yeah and he's like i gotta you know i can't believe my boy mike myers did you know did something shitty, so I gotta watch it and come back. It's like he was on top of it with that awesome powers. Well, you're not gonna be like on top of things forever. Yeah, you know, especially in like comedy, like you're gonna like fall off. There's gonna also like none. There's no real good like new comedy movies. They're all kind of like retreads or like. I think The Hangover was like the last like probably good comedy movie, and then now they're all like dramedies. Really? I yeah, guess they, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm yeah comedy movies. Mm. No, you're. I mean, maybe you're right. I, can't I mean, think if of you're like, not including Spotlight, which I think is the funniest movie. <laughs> I'm not sure what that time. is. Oh, you don't get my reference. <laughs> no, Spotlight is the movie about uh, the Boston Globe uh, unraveling the Catholic Church oh. <laughs> child molestation conspiracy. <laughs> it's always great when you have to explain your riff. <laughs> Let me explain this. <laughs> yeah, joke. I just have a chalkboard, and I'm just like, here you go. <laughs> I mean. Connect all the dots for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, comedy movies aren't good anymore. I still think like the funniest movie ever, I think, is Blazing Saddles. Yeah. And people are like, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. It's the funniest movie. And people will probably be like, it doesn't hold up. And it's like, yeah, it does. It really does. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, it's very really funny. funny. Yeah. It, I think Mel Brooks is super funny. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you really couldn't make that exact movie today. Well, you could, I would. Well, you could. I'd you, make a shot for shot <laughs> remake. Shot for shot remake. <laughs> and I just put in more racial epithets. And then <laughs> you're you do it, Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy style, where you play all the characters. Oh yeah, I'm all the characters. <laughs> all and the, then I'm in blackface. All, <laughs> I'm I'm the the Robert Downey Jr. For Christ's sake, he's <laughs> Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What if they gave him Iron Man because of Tropic Thunder? <laughs> <laughs> well, you really think, you know. Look at the range. The range. <laughs> he has such great range. He could be a black guy. He could be a white guy. Yeah. This is amazing. Uh, but you, you do your own remake of Blazing Saddles. It is pretty, it's pretty good. Like, there's that one scene <laughs> where, like, the guy who's at the watchtower looking, and then the bell's going, bong. He's like, the new mayor's a... Bong. Oh yeah, <laughs> the new mayor. Oh, the, oh yeah. No, he's near. Yeah, we know he's coming. He's yeah. a bong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Richard Pryor. Uh, That's so bad. <laughs> Richard Pryor wrote the script with Mel Brooks. He's supposed to be in that movie, but then he lit himself on fire. Oh shit! And they got the I. I don't know the other guy's name, but yeah, like he was supposed to be in. I think he's also supposed to be in History of the World Part One. Mm. But then, you know, he's just like, he got fucked up on drugs and he went nuts for a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah. When did, he di- when did he die? Maybe like 10, 15 years ago. He had, uh, he had, I think he had Lou Gehrig. No, did he have ALS, like Lou Gehrig's disease or something like that? Um, Or he had muscular dystrophy or something like that. So he, he had to retire. Okay, from like you know everything. I he thought was, he was still. I I, I thought he. No, died. he's been dead for a minute. I thought he was. 
dead for like since the eighties or something. No, 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 no. He I don't no. know jack shit. He's no, he <laughs> lived he lived into like the two thousands, two thousand six, two thousand seven, maybe. Because hmm. there was a big deal on Comedy Central after he died. Okay, that's like no, he had like. Uh, <clears throat> Lyme disease or lupus or something. <laughs> you just start making shit up. <laughs> he had HPV. <laughs> he had deadly HPV. Had, yeah. <laughs> you just start making shit up. Uh, well, you were uh, mentioning about how when you were younger, you know, you just look, look, being the little brother and your older brothers you play games, and you just watch them. Like, this is actually kind of fun. Yeah. It actually is. And that's kind of like the a big thing with Twitch. But it's like a buddy of mine, uh, like we would, would hang out and he's like, all right, well, there's nothing going on. Um, you want to watch anything? I'm like, no, nah, not really. He's like, all right, I'm gonna start playing games. And it was actually fun watching him play games while yeah, I, yeah. I drank beer. Yeah, and you're rooting <laughs> against him. I'm like, dude, you fucking suck. He's like, you're, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, get him, Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> get his ass. <laughs> get him, Koopa. He's do- like doing some shooter game against, you know, whatever. The world. Yeah, and he just loses. He's an eight-year-old Taiwanese <laughs> just, boy. <laughs> it's like some Korean like child slave, and if he loses at Call of Duty, they beat him. <laughs> the kid is calling him the gamer word. <laughs> <laughs> the gamer <laughs> word, <laughs> bong. <laughs> <laughs> the bell's going off. <laughs> this guy's a bong. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. The only place you can be racist anymore is in uh, <laughs> online chat rooms and <laughs> Call of Duty. That's why I'm like, shit. I need to get an Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you just every chat room you go in, you just woo, <laughs> yeah, just light them up. We got, I remember we got X. Uh, I got Xbox 360, and I got Halo 3 when it first came out, and mm-hmm. we could still play like split screen. Yeah, and we played split screen, but then we also like joined it online. Yeah, and then we all would just like yell into the mic <laughs> and just call everyone names. <laughs> As soon as we started playing, it's like we wouldn't even. Sometimes we'd just be like losing, but all we would do is there's like four of us just like talking shit to everyone. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's with the Nintendo Switch is like the game console I have. Mm-hmm. Um, they have it to where it's like there's no voice chat. Oh, which that's, I think that's way around. That's it. probably really good, <laughs> especially if more kids are playing it. It's like you don't want <laughs> kids to play like well, yeah, it's weird. Like somebody's playing Mario Kart. Mario Kart is like you fucking fag. <laughs> yeah, and the kids are like, well, dude, my. I just blue shelled your gay ass. And the kids are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he goes and repeats it. Calls you just hear a bunch of Japanese curse words. <laughs> <laughs> calls his teacher that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so what's new, dude? <laughs> there's a little <laughs> yeah there's a little bit of a little um not much just getting ready uh, oh lebron james is about to break the scoring record all i'm all i do now is watch sports yeah and uh <clears throat> leer at women <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's, I, how, that's I just awesome. pull up pull up to walgreens parking lot and i just hang out my head and it was like Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ESPN updates on your phone. Da 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 da. And then you, and then you like, look at that, and then you what? go back to leering at women at Walmart. Uh, <laughs> and just break. No up one's your gonna day. do anything at Walmart. <laughs> you're not even the worst guy at Walmart. <laughs> no, you're. Yeah, There's somebody jacking <laughs> off in the cereal aisle at Walmart. Yeah, fucking Count Chocula really got to him. He's like, I'm fucking, oh, too much sugar. <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm gonna got a blast. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's that Chinese spy balloon that got shot down. Yeah, what was up with that? I don't know. I, it doesn't seem real to me. I'm like, okay, so you have a balloon? <laughs> you know, like, what is it? Just like a hot air balloon with like a Chinese guy <laughs> just, just hanging things out. Down. He's wearing, he's wearing, he's wearing the hat. He's <laughs> no. like, oh, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Clever Americans. <laughs> he's just, he's just got a, he's got a etch a sketch, and he's just <laughs> he's he's got a one hot those, air balloon. Those those Kodak cameras. It's like all right now to and make. Then, and then he like he pops it out, and then he's just like waving the picture around. <laughs> oh, with like a Polaroid. To, to yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, he's like pops. He's like all right, that's a good one. <laughs> he puts it his, I don't know. It doesn't even seem. It's like that's how. Th- there's no way they're spying on us like 
that. Like, don't they have like, don't they have like stealth jets or something? Yeah, or can I mean they can just also go. they have like TikTok, which that's what TikTok <laughs> is. You're already taking all our data. Yeah, and just <laughs> do you ever you, you do you have TikTok or you? No, I'm scared of it, dude. <laughs> it instantly. I mean, knows. they're all bad, but like. <laughs> You know, Instagram, Facebook, I'm sure. Yeah. But TikTok just really scares <laughs> my, me. My drummer's on it. And he's like, oh, it could be a good thing for, like, he's trying to do, like, like realtor shit or yeah. whatever. He's like, oh, it could be good for business. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm like, you know, I had it for a minute. And I'm like, you know, it just, it knows that, like, oh, you're a guy. So it's just tons of, like, hot chicks on your feed. Are you sure it's <laughs> not just your particular preferences, Brian? Well, yes, I like it. It, 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 it. it sees how much porn you watch on your phone. <laughs> well, this guy likes porn. He's just <laughs> like, well, this guy's lonely. Let's this guy. He's got his Tinder profile up still. Uh, so between yeah, it's, I'm like looking. I'm like Jesus Christ, this is awesome. And I'm like, I'm looking. I'm like, man, I'm disgusting. I'm just like <laughs> middle aged man. Yeah, They're just I, like looking at I'm like oh. What, what do you like? I don't know. Girls with yeah. See, you can't be leering at women on the internet. You got to be leering at them in real life. Yeah, that's like, like me. <laughs> bring it, <laughs> bring it to, hey. down to reality, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> instead of just online, just like all right, what's this? Oh, twerking or big cans? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give that a like. <laughs> yeah, it's way it was way better when you see it out in the wild. <laughs> See just people it's twerking. So much work just to go and just, <laughs> you like, just have a big. You have a big ass camera. And oh you yeah, just take your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> just i mean yeah if you're just staring that'd be <laughs> i remember uh in freshman year there was this really creepy kid named paul uh-huh. and i guess he would just uh he would do like he would use his this is like early days of phones and he would like take pictures of girls <laughs> no god god yeah dude and he was really gr- he was like a really like acne and like uh like a kid like probably listening to death metal all the time oh, yeah and I'm like uh, that kid's gonna shoot the screen <laughs> <up, dude." laughs> he's and like they're gonna search like okay what, what was this kid into all right <laughs> death metal anime and then being a creeper and taking panty shots <laughs> yeah You're like, yeah no oh, this dude rocks <laughs> <laughs> the trifecta dude yeah I might be able to get him off of this <laughs> you know you know what i've been seeing a lot on social media yeah uh it's i like a lot of women just all, all they do is like post about how bad online dating is uh-huh. and they'll just like post guys screenshots and then like post their back and forths yeah and it's like mm-hmm. Wow, you deserve to be alone. <laughs> just to be an asshole, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know. It's true. You get creepy messages or whatever, but it's also just like, then don't be on it. Like, like there's this, oh my God, there's this, uh, I guess I met her somehow doing stand-up in LA, but there's just like this big, fat, huge girl <laughs> who was like, all, she was also really aggressive, like in person, like gotcha. flirting with people. Okay. Like, in a way that, like, you know, a man would get, like, attacked for doing that. Yeah. Like, she's like, oh, hey, you looking good. And <laughs> Give us all that dick. <laughs> she's always, like, bitch. Like, I had to, like, delete her because she was always posting, like, this is what this guy said to me. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da. Oh, look at this picture. This this guy thinks it's hot. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and then I was, like, in Idaho, uh... I posted a picture and it's like, she's like, be careful in Idaho. There was a murder up there. <laughs> and I was like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, and then you mess, you get, you slide into the DM. I slide into a DM. It's like, you want to keep me safe, baby? <laughs> How about I carve you up and I crawl into your carcass? <laughs> like, like a, a tom <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's just the thing. I hate online dating. It's because, like, uh, like, women go on there and then just complain about it and it's like mm. well yeah you're you're dating in the most lazy way yeah of course it's gonna be bad like this is this is like the fucking uh um this is like the penny stocks of dating yeah like go just go to a fucking yoga class and ask somebody to go get coffee mm-hmm. this is i don't know this is the thing i hate <clears throat> when people complain about dating it's like 
you're just you're the one making it harder than it is. Just go out and meet somebody, do an activity, meet somebody, and then like go have fun. Yeah. And you're I mean, just like like, oh my god, all these guys are like they're they're being like, You wanna have sex on Tinder? Like, yeah, that's what that's there for. What did you <laughs> think you're gonna find true love, you fucking idiot? <laughs> yeah. It's uh I think I've done Tinder. I mean, I, I never ever met anybody. Bumble was better. Like I, I was going, and then I got to a point where I'm like, "Oh, okay, trying conversations," and I'm like, "Okay, try and have something fun or like whatever." It's like, yeah, it 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 be like something. I'm like, I I, I can't keep this going. I don't give a sh- that much of a shit about you. Well, it's it's, like, it's also like there's like gimmicks because one guy showed me. His go-to move was he just had one response, uh-huh. or not not one response, but he had like one just initial thing that would like pique their interest, and it was a very corny line. It was just like, "Hey, I was wondering if you're interested in tacos and adventures or something," and it worked every time because <laughs> <laughs> you just when you want to try to get them to meet, yeah, because yeah. you don't want to end up like just texting back and forth, yeah. Without any impetus, I'm gonna fire to do up anything. the Tinder again and steal that guy's move. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I did have more success. I think I hooked up with a few chicks on Bumble and Tinder. I just I fucked one chick, and she was you know, like she was, she was just like a raging whore, <laughs> <laughs> which was fine for me then. Yeah, yeah. You know? You're like that's cool. Yeah, and she was out. just like very forward and very much like this and this. You know, like I'm gonna write a book about all these guys I fuck. Yeah. I'm like, how's that book coming? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm still collecting research. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Eight, I'm pounding the pavement here. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. going, just fucking guys. But Bumble, were, I don't know, Bumble, because then chicks would only message you if they actually wanted to meet, because then it's like only they can message you. Okay, yeah, yeah. So then they're like, well, I'm not going to just message match him. a guy if I if because I'm going to have to message him. Yeah. And then what you get all the time, the same thing they complain about would be like, hi. Because they're like, don't just say hi. Yeah, yeah, and It's yeah. like, yeah, it's hard to come up with something to say to a complete stranger yeah, yeah, yeah. without any context. <laughs> yeah, it would. Uh... Yeah, let's see. What, what was the dumb one that I, I, I did? And it would always catch, like, you know, like, to me, I'm like, okay, just me being a prick. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're a dumbass. So it'd be like, uh, go, I'm like, oh, if you can be an animal for one day. What day would it be? And they'd be like, I'd be a dog. I'm like, ah. You'd be like, gotcha, you, bitch. You didn't get the joke, did you? All right. I, and then I unmatch them. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's, <laughs> I didn't ask what animal. It's like, oh, what day would you choose? And that's the whole point. It's like, why do you care about what day? Well, maybe Christmas or something. Yeah, this is a funny joke. Yeah, it's that's the dumb. joke. It's supposed to. Because they're like, why did you open up with I a don't joke? Know. I think dating apps are bad. I think apps in general are usually bad. Yeah. Like I think Uber is bad. I think you should just steal people's cars. <laughs> GTA style. <laughs> yeah, he's just. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> you start talking like w- Wario. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so I'm gonna steal this hey. car. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get hit with a blue shell. <laughs> but you just uh, yeah, a co- a co- that's what a co- that's you call cops or blue shells. Uh, yeah, blue, oh, the cherries and berries when they get you. <laughs> the cherries and berries. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Red and blue. <laughs> you see that in your back Cherries window, and berries, baby. And you throw a banana peel back. It doesn't work. Like, Fuck! God damn it, Mario. Yeah. You fucked me again. And you throw a Molotov cocktail behind you. <laughs> You're like, all right. This is the San- real world banana peel. <laughs> San Andreas. Don't got let me catch you slipping. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. You had to do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> you just shoot everyone and then kill yourself. <laughs> That's how you do it, Brian. Yeah. It, uh. It's murder, 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 suicide. Murder. Murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've uh once like I was like I think I was just never good. I mean I never met anybody, like I said, off online dating. Met one or like talked to one person, kept it going. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, what do you do? Da, da, da. I'm like, I don't know, throwing anything interesting that I do mm-hmm. out there. I'm like, oh, I have a podcast, and it's like, oh, just like every other guy in their mid 30s or whatever. That's what they said to you, no, that 
you know, prefaced it kind of like that as a joke. And then yeah. like, all right, I'll check it out. And then <laughs> no, she and then she listens. She's like, wow, you guys really think you're funny, huh? It's like you guys laugh at your jokes every. <laughs> Wait, like, is this, you guys is are you talking about our podcast? <laughs> no, it's the tone jerk, my other one. Oh. It's like Kyle and I just make jokes, and he's like, wow, you guys really do think you're pretty funny, huh? It's like every second you make a joke and you laugh about it for like, yeah, right. I'm like look here, fun. bitch. <laughs> look here, bitch. <laughs> well, okay, you just, I guess, uh, you just don't like fun then, huh? Okay, Women got hate it. fun, dude. Women are notorious. <laughs> They're fun haters. It's also a shitty thing to say. Yeah, court, if yeah. somebody put, if somebody's like, hey, this is my band, you're just like, oh, you guys think you can have rhythm oh. <laughs> well, I just like I'm like yeah we I don't know we think it's no I just I'm like I don't I, I got nothing to this go is with when that. you stop talking to her you yeah, yeah you just walk away from her because here's the thing is, I mean she, uh, I, sometimes people it, it's really hard for them to listen to two like really also you don't have to listen to the podcast at all strapping alpha males <laughs> <laughs> like, me, alpha. like me, me and my buddy Kyle <laughs> and just like you also just don't have to listen to I don't know that's weird that like people get pissed off you like, listen to it yeah, and then I'm like, okay, I'm like, ah, you know, we have better stuff on our Patreon. Subscribe to that, five bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to my own. It's a fucking old bait and switch. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I just don't go on this app all that often, but I'll respond to you if you, just, you know, apply. You know, you go on so our Patreon. So, oh, that's such a you met online. Yeah, ten dollars a month on Patreon, you could subscribe to my. Don't you meet? You, do you ever meet women when you're playing your bands? Well, the last show that we did, which was um, a couple weeks ago, pretty good. Uh, show we opened up for a national uh, band, uh, Guttermouth, and there was tons of people there. I was like, you know, I think because what I was doing, I was like, oh, just like um, watching our gear. And I was at the time, you know, it was dry January, so I wasn't mm-hmm. drinking. Wasn't I'm like to me, I'm like, I guess now I'm not. it's fucked up February. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, Brian, it's turn one on. Yeah, just like it begins. <laughs> but my bandmates or one of my bandmates uh he was you know drinking and he was like all right you know he's like talking to the ladies mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like um, and i'm like oh he's you know he's like oh i talked to this girl da, 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 i got a number da, da, da. i'm like cool i only talked like only guys came up to me oh yeah I sweaty saw sweaty dude this big fat guy who's like i was in a punk band back in the day and <laughs> Go pull the knife on me. Well, there was and we were doing tattoos. Another like big fat guy. He was like, <laughs> he was he loved the band. He didn't know my name. He's like Justin K. He's just, oh god, you guys are awesome. Let's go in the pit. I'm like, I'm not trying to go out there. Yeah. No, I remember that big fat guy came up to you. Yeah, he was trying. And to, he just like, kept talking, and, and we're they just kept like, like, you gotta just go back in there. And he's like, I'm, he's like, I'm, I'm fucking fifty, bro. And then it was pretty funny, like. Not to shame the boy, but <laughs> don't hurt him. <laughs> His phone, like screensaver, mm-hmm. like your background was Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not, you know, I don't try and look at people's phones, but it was like he had it kind of like right there. And you can see him like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Like, he loved Donald Trump. It's the fucking, it's the pop punk to Donald Trump. Uh, pipeline, dude. Yeah. Pop punk to Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, he he, he loves <laughs> love Donald Trump enough to I put love him- <laughs> Martian and I love entitlement reform. <laughs> yeah. He's probably all stoked on fucking. But here's the thing, though. You know, DJT you, coming you know back. that nobody has Kamala Harris as their <laughs> screensaver, dude. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. I mean, yeah, they might, some people might have Biden. I no, don't I don't think. I don't think people <laughs> don't like think Biden as much as I, no, the people who people like, like Trump like, yeah. really like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I was going to say. He's coming back, bro. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking drunk. He's like, I'm going to watch a punk band, and then I love Donald Trump. Dude, there's a lot of punks who like got into being Republicans. Yeah. I remember this one guy. I was wearing my black flag t-shirt, and I was at the Kensington Club. Yeah. And this <laughs> guy was like... He would just got angry at me. Uh-huh. And he was like, fucking, you know, we were like, you know, we, we fucking, you know, like we were like rebelling against Jimmy Carter. And it's like, you're rebelling against a one term president. <laughs> what a fucking dork. <laughs> the peanut farmer. And then he was just like going on about like, and I was like trying to be nice. And like, oh, yeah, cool. Like, what was it like back then? He's like, yeah, fucking, you know, we weren't wearing skirts skinny jeans and i was like what are you talking about yeah. and then he tried to bang this chick who had herpes 
Nice. And then she shut him down. So I mean, you oh, know, he got shot down. She got shut down. Yeah, yeah. I only knew that because I was about to bang her, and then and then she was like, "Yeah, I have herpes," and I was like, "Oh man, I was very good. thank you for telling me." But still, you trying to smash? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you dude. still doing it. Well, anyways. it's not a one for one. I guess you can bang someone with herpes, and then unless they are uh, having an outbreak, yeah, you're good. Also, some people just can't get it. <laughs> and you're like, I think I might be. I'm gonna, I'm, you're like, you know, so far I haven't gotten it. No, but you know, it, I it's think- something like a lot of people are exposed to it and just never get it. Yeah. Or like they're carriers or something. Yeah. Which okay. is like, it is, it's probably like the least bad one, but it's like the the one I'm the most scared of just because it has the grossest name. The herb. The herb. It's the, gr- it's the <laughs> worst name, dude. Yeah. I haven't really researched a lot of STDs. But like, he's, I wrote like, a book on him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. And this is like, all right. Well, I'm pretty sure I have HPV, but like, I think everyone mm. has HPV. <laughs> it I, came through. It just like fucking wiped everyone out. Yeah, I, uh, I don't, I've never had sex without a condom. <laughs> oh, what a uh, fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> ever? And it even chicks are like, dude. They're like, oh no, or, you know, come on. And I'm like, no. I'm like, because I'm yeah, like, because it feels I, like they're like, trying to trap you, huh? Well, I'm like, scared. She's like, oh, she's like, come on, you don't have to wear a condom. I'm like, oh, you're trying to have my kids, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <Fuck> that. <laughs> they really want my seed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, he has a very shitty job. <laughs> he band sucks ass. I need to trap this guy. Yeah, there's there there was there there have been a couple girls, but there's one girl particular in particular. Every time I'd bang her, I would turn my condom inside out and then dump it into the toilet. Okay. Just to be like, cause I, I, cause I'm pretty sure she might try to like, yeah, she might. Well, this is what they tell NBA players. They they tell NBA players, <laughs> and you're on the same level. Your condoms, <laughs> yeah, 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 because women will like go and get the condom oh. out of the trash. <laughs> yeah, 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 and they'll try to get pregnant with it. <laughs> and you're like, well, I'm basically LeBron James, so fuck that. No, I, no, because some, no, it's not even that. It's just like some people are so, some people are just like clingers. They're just like if you fuck them one time, they're in love. Yeah, and it's like they can't wrap their head around like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, yeah. scaring me right now. Can yeah, you right. stop. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you've had girlfriends like that where it's like, yeah, uh, you, you have sex with them and you're like, I'm like, I know that my dick is less than spectacular, and they're like, no, it's on, it's great. Oh no, you know, it's like I'm lucky to be with you. I'm like. You don't. I. You don't have to lie. <laughs> See, I, 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 I would, I would I was be, like, I'd be like, "Yeah, you are." Because <laughs> I think we one time got condoms, and he's like, oh, "Okay, I need to pick up some, uh, you know, Trojan condoms." And he grabs magnums. I'm like, "No, no, no." <laughs> I'm like, "No, sir." No, uh, she's not that lucky. And she's like, "I am lucky to be with you." And I'm like, "He shot it." <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> what is she dying? <laughs> like, what is oh, this you impression you're doing? <laughs> I am lucky to. What is she, is she I, fucking I, I mean, Adrian from the original Rocky? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. That's who I'm fucking. I'm lucky to be with you, Rock. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I do uh, a hot girl voice. I need to try that again. Hey, you. <laughs> I don't know. I think for them, it's a lot of it's yeah. it, it's more uh, emotional. Yeah. Then it is purely physical. It's emotional for me too. Every, every time, <laughs> every time I jack every off, time I, I cry. Do, every time I come, I'm like, "Fuck! I shouldn't have done that, dude." <laughs> I just what a bad decision I I've just made. Jack off in my toilet. Yeah. And it's just like, all right, oh, I start crying. Man, this is this. this is, and then like, I love my life. Some beautiful song comes on the radio as you're jacking off. Uh, so yeah, I whose just, beautiful house is this? <laughs> <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> Some beautiful song. It just like Aerosmith. <laughs> As the days go by, yeah. I come into the toilet. Yeah, uh, but I don't know. That's the thing. I uh, because it, it, it's always like a bunch of guys come up to you after you do a show. Um, what happened to me a few times is sometimes chicks hit me up on Instagram mm-hmm. afterwards. Yeah, like the last year, <clears throat> I had two different chicks just like. Hit me up on Instagram mm-hmm. and just send me like naked pictures. Damn, but like very like so the the first one was like, "Hey, great show!" I'm like, "Oh, thank you so much." And so you made you sure it. to report them to Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> report. Um, no, so, th- and then like next she was sorry, like, miss. This has to be reported. So it goes against <laughs> rules. And, and then regulations. next she was like, uh, 
oh, you ever been to this sex club? And I was <laughs> like, no. I was like, I didn't know what she's talking about. And then she just like sent me a picture of her boobs. Nice. And I was like, <laughs> just no context. Like, you just all you do is just rocking tits, ma'am. <laughs> 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 you just you don't know how, like well i should respond what oh should gee that's swell that's swell you have a <laughs> thanks for dumping them out for me <laughs> uh but uh yeah i think uh very rarely i think for bands because i think most you know you think rarely for bands well rarely for my bands i guess <laughs> how about that we think that day, roll that back yeah uh there was one time where uh let's see yeah th- this chick uh she was you know she saw us play at a club and then she her and her friend were talking to me and my drummer at the time and he, you know we were kind of like oh you know being you know talking back and forth having a good time and then he mentioned to me that like oh as they were leaving it's like yeah so and so is uh leaving the country for like a year you know, European trip. She doesn't know when she's going to come back. She said she wanted to, you know, have sex with you, but I didn't think she was that attractive. So I, I, I was a good wingman, dude. And so I told wait, her, wait, he told, he wait. told her that I wasn't interested. <laughs> He's like, cause he felt that she wasn't as hot as he, for him. But I'm like, no, I would have banged. <laughs> and he's yeah, like, she's also going away. Who cares? He's like, nah, she's, she's beat. So I helped you dodge that bullet, man. And I'm like, you fucking asshole! You fucking yeah. and he was he was a dumbass too. Which like what a d- you know that one friend who's like a loose cannon, or like he'll say anything, you know, da, 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 yeah, just yeah. to be funny. Like his whole idea of like he definitely and like you know I'm not not naming the he guy. Uses the n word, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, but he like not naming the guy. So you know whatever, not to sh- you know shame him or whatever. He definitely read the game. And oh, followed oh, all the fuck. Uh, negging, wearing oh, uh, like he would wear like he had this like puffy red feather jacket because <laughs> he's like oh no girl you wait know, do I know this guy <laughs> I think you met him once maybe <laughs> at least once or oh, at least only once no nah, maybe a couple of times but he was like <laughs> I know who it is <laughs> tall white guy <laughs> 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 anyways he, uh, and he would wear like. He had like oh these shoes that he would like because he wants to be the most standout. So he like these shoes that yeah, were like it's called peacock. Exactly, that's what he would do. I'm like no, I just wear all all black. Really, he's like well, no, you got to wear colors, bro. And so he'd wear like outrageous colors. <laughs> he had this jacket that was puffy feathers, red. And I'm like, <laughs> but the thing is that that there is something to some of that shit. Like yeah. standing out is your number because like a lot of times you're gonna get sh- shut down anyways. But yeah. standing out in some respect. Is is what you want. Yeah. And it's like, even if you look ridiculous, it is a weird thing. People will make fun of you, but like getting attention is, that's like garnered to get attention. Yeah. So it's better than, you know, if you're trying to do that, you you know you're going to like fail and look dumb yeah. most of the time, <laughs> but you are increasing your chances of interactions. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I did not read the game. I, I had somebody <laughs> send it to me on a PDF file. <laughs> I remember there was this comedian when I first started doing stand up and this guy I used to think he was like amazing and then like the more I had saw him I was like, Oh, this guy's actually really bad. Yeah. But he was like he always had really bad breath and he was like, y- have you read the game? And then I was like, <laughs> No. And I was like twenty two. I didn't know and I you know, that's like I'd yeah. ba- I'd barely had sex at all. And then he sent me the game through BDF. <laughs> <laughs> like he's helping out people. Yeah. But I never I never read it yeah it was uh so he he definitely read the game i guess that people who are unfamiliar it was like must have been like over 10 15 years ago or whatever something like the that pickup it was artists the pickup shit. artists the pickup artists the pool was what they this guy was traveling <laughs> watching those videos and doing all the pickup artist type shit anyway so he was like oh the chicks too that we were talking to i'm like cool there's you know uh brunette a uh, blonde one da-da-da. the brunette was the one who was into me and i'm like i thought she was cute attractive mm. whatever and then he was like kind of shoot him off and i'm like all right well it's you know we're done the show's over i'm like, i guess i'm gonna go home and as we're driving <clears throat> all the gear back he kind of mentioned yeah no yeah she had mentioned that she you know, wanted to you know sleep with you tonight and da, 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 da. but i i put the you know stopped that and i'm like <laughs> fucking <laughs> dumbass anyways but i knocked her out <laughs> I just, don't come on my boy <laughs> 
Leave them alone. He's well, that, protecting my seat. <laughs> that's like why women do that dumb shit. It's like, you know, you can just come up to us and tell us. Yeah. If you like, most of the time, we'll just be like, okay. Because like women are this thing, they'll be like, they don't, they, they want to fuck, but they don't want you to think they're a slut. Yeah. But it's and also then, like, I think you're all sluts, so it yeah. doesn't matter. And then, uh, <laughs> and like, it doesn't also like, who cares what, what I, I think? I think you're all sluts. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that real quick. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I was like, good. I wanted to take a moment and reflect <laughs> on that beauty. You're- no, but like they'll, they'll be like they'll, they'll tell you like I'm not gonna sleep with you, and it's like and you're like oh okay, and then they sleep with you anyways. It's like oh you want to sleep with me, you just don't want to feel like you're a slut. Yeah, yeah. But it's also like I don't care. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not a fucking. I'm not. I'm not like a Baptist preacher who's like, oh, these, like these harlots. These are harlots. coming and trying to you're, suck on my penis. <laughs> you're also, I don't care about anything that you do. To be honest, I don't care. You. Yeah, <laughs> I don't give a shit, dude. I don't. Other, the, I don't know. That's funny. I got fucking ESPN updates to keep on done on that. Because it's like a, a guy. I don't know. Like I was. I feel like women's judgment is scarier because like women will like go and tell everyone. Yeah. If you like try to sleep with a chick, then she'd be like, "He tried to have sex with me." Yeah. And then if a guy is just like, "No, I'm good," or he'd be like, "Yeah, okay." It's like a Southern Belle. <laughs> he tried to. Sleep. He tried to deprive me of my <laughs> feminine innocence. <laughs> But he tried to take my chastity away from me. <laughs> but uh Good I, heavens. <laughs> I ended up like being friends. Um I have the vapors. <laughs> friends with that chick later you on. You ended up being friends with like, her? Like we're like, you know, uh, on, oh, on, dude, on online. You got friend I, I, I got friend zone. You got friend zoned by your friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. So it's like later on, <laughs> like years, at, like when she came back from that trip or whatever, she's like, da, da, da. I'm like, she was like at, at that point she was over it. But and then she kept would, she would, fucked all these hot European yeah, guys. Yeah, she probably just like, got. I don't want any of Brian. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want your tiny dick no more. I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want none of this Wonder Bread. <laughs> yeah, nothing to write home about, Dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've <laughs> had sex in France. <laughs> I just got. I had sex in Luxembourg. <laughs> <laughs> like that <laughs> voice. <laughs> I had dick uh, in the Grand Duchy, <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Austria. <laughs> <laughs> I like this is that's your woman voice. It's so like I'm not gonna come back to San Diego <laughs> just to suck on your pee your tiny penis. <laughs> Uh, so I had sex with a man in Romania, and I, I like, uh, and I'm like, oh, we became friends with her, and she would come out to shows, and da da da, da and we, you know, and my all like friends of mine would be like, oh man, she came out here, and she's like, da da da, she's probably down. I'm like, no, I've I've, I've tried to, you know, whatever, yeah, and she's, she's she's not down for it. So I'm like, why is she coming to shows all the time? I'm like, this sounds weird. But she actually likes our band. <laughs> She's a, an adult person who yeah. likes our band, so she comes out to watch us. And it's like, f- I blew my band's mind. So like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> also, like, it came out to be a cool thing that's like, yeah. oh, that one show, it's like we had a fan. And she will come out to watch us. Yeah. Like a certain show. I'm like, oh, she's always out here all the time, bro. It's like, probably could you know get with it. I'm like, no. She just likes our yeah, music. Yeah, what if you alienate your one fan? Yeah, by yeah no, it's like, it'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it'd be like somebody who comes out dude. You know, to your comedy shows. You're like, oh, I fuck all of them. You're dude. like, <laughs> I, fuck, I don't care about I alienating fuck everybody who comes to my comedy shows. <laughs> Johnny Ray, like, he comes out, you're like, your ass getting fucked, pal. <laughs> are, you, are you giving me the eye? <laughs> somebody laughs, and you're like, <laughs> All right. I go on stage. I'm all peacocked out. I have <laughs> yes. a red fluffy, a puffy jacket. Yeah, I have a have, feather boa. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm literally wearing a Native American headdress. <laughs> yeah, you have like R, you have RGB sunglasses on. Yeah, no, you have LA gears that are yeah, lighting yeah. up every time you walk. Dude, yeah, I have LA gear. <laughs> I go back in a time machine. <laughs> yeah, you just get all those. You get all like the, you know, like the, the cool shit. From like I remember as a kid, I would see those kids that had the curly the big dog shirt. <laughs> you wear a big dog shirt. 
<laughs> and you, you walk around every time you enter a, a room, you go arf arf. <laughs> you wear ruff, ruff. <laughs> <And> rock aware <laughs> fucking <laughs> jeans are orange <laughs> for some reason. You wear just a clash of all these colors. <laughs> you, you're wearing you're wearing Jacob. You're wearing <laughs> Joseph's multicolored dream yeah, coat. Yeah, you wear <laughs> Joe, the, the dream coat, and then you also found a pair of pants that are their Bernie Mac. <laughs> Spray painted where he's uh, from the I ain't scared of you motherfuckers, but you wear the exact one. Would it have Bernie Mac's face on my pants? Yeah. <laughs> Over the continent of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just start doing his act. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. Kick it. <laughs> Every time you go anywhere, you're talking to Bernie Mac voice. Yeah. Dude, Bernie Mac was great. Yo, I never had no pumpkin pie. Kick it. <laughs> <laughs> just start saying dude you know it'd be the best thing is if bernie mac came back from the dead and him and bernie sanders <laughs> were on a presidential <laughs> ticket <dude. laughs> it's like uh what bernie is mac goes to congress like i ain't scared of y'all motherfuckers <laughs> no he, bernie mac yeah we gotta have health care <laughs> bernie mac takes over bernie sanders body <laughs> 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 hey, health care <laughs> kick it <laughs> boom boom boom, boom. <laughs> Bernie Sanders Mac, dude. Yeah, Bernie Sanders Mac. <laughs> He's like, I ain't scared of y'all motherfucking billionaires. <laughs> Put, does pussy taste like free health care? I don't know. Never had no free health care. Boom, kick it. <laughs> it's just boom, boom. <laughs> he goes, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, but <laughs> I have a health care plan. So big, it'd make the whole room go dark. <laughs> Just, my healthcare plan is your mama come in and beat your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your kid. No, that's Steve Harvey. <laughs> that's every black comedian. Parent. That's why I wish my parents beat me more so I could become a black comedian when I grew up. <laughs> yeah, just be it's that. better. <laughs> <laughs> just like my sister has started having kids. I'm like, are you gonna? You can't hit your kids, right? What the hell are you going to do? I'm just like, as an, an adult, it's a real conversation. I'm like, so you just can't hit your kids anymore, right? So what, what do you do? And just like, I don't know, you got to tell them to go in a corner. I'm like, hey, just bring it back. Just bring it back. Beat the hell out of yeah. your kids. It brings the beatings back, dude. Uh, I don't, sometimes, sometimes I want to, like, I think about hitting my nephew. <laughs> so I'm just like, I could do it, dude. I could wreck him, bro. <laughs> like, I could hit him. He's, and I mouth, just, he's mouthing off. You just lie. I'm like, I'm going to teach have. you some respect. <laughs> uh, who are you going to believe? He's like, who are you going to believe? A child? <laughs> you th- a tra- you going to believe a child over <laughs> you go and- a, a f- struggling comedian? <laughs> you go and sit in a chair backwards like a cool teacher. Like, look, respect is earned. But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you sit backwards and you like slap slap the kid. You just like, pop pop. <laughs> Uh, you're like, nobody's going to believe you, man. You're just the worst fucking influence. <laughs> like, my uncle fucking no, sucks. Now look at this picture on my phone. <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> I, uh, I I think that's really why people, you know, people like talk about how it's good to hit your kids. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I think really what they're trying to get at is that they just want to fight a child. Yeah. Which I understand the appeal of, because it's like, this is a guaranteed victory. Yeah, you need some W's this on is, your this side. Is, this is like a confidence booster, dude. <laughs> for like, you, you lose for- so many battles. <laughs> yeah. You get home, you're like, dude, I lost I've lost fucking uh, fight to my co-workers, my bosses. You know, I can't get like anything. And nothing's working out, but I can whip this kid's ass. <laughs> I could for sure win this fight. You take like uh, you know, something, karate. Yeah, two ser- a Kramer style. Huh. <laughs> you just start beating up kids. You like bow to your kid before you start swinging on them. <laughs> it's like, "Jerry, we're all the same <laughs> skill level." And he's just an adult <laughs> <laughs> kicking kids. He's just wrecking. He's like judo throwing children across the dojo. <laughs> And then he says the gamer word as he does it. <laughs> the gamer word. I love this code. <laughs> What a you know what's weird is like the people like the the old school like spanking people like pulling their pants down. Yeah. It's like, dude, that's I'm surprised there's not like more perverts because of that. <laughs> they like, I think you need a spanking, young boy. <laughs> and he just like his he just dick gets rock hard. <laughs> he just, he's like, Oh anything but that. Oh, you you <laughs> you spilt milk. All right, time for a spanking. <laughs> that's not milk. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't put your toys away. Time for a spanking. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's gross. <laughs> it is pretty gross. Oh uh, yeah, it's like I well, 
It's gross because it's kids, but what if it was for adults? And me, I do something bad, and then I just pull my pants down. I'm like, all right, give me a spanking. <laughs> you just say work. Yeah. And they're like, Brian, you misfiled these reports. And you're just oh. like, oh, I've been bad. Oh, I guess it's time to- for a spanking. It's like, all right, also, <laughs> so you just don't wipe your ass, huh? I'm like, well, well you just got a poopy butt. Just got you can't shit. be getting a spanking with a poopy butt. It's just like shit in your ass. Well, you know, toilet paper, you know, remember 2020? <laughs> you just start doing a riff. Oh, inflation, am I right? Uh, inflation in my pants. Right? <laughs> I'm in, I'm inflating these blue jeans. Yeah. <laughs> you just crap yourself. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, I think that, yeah, just going in and be like, all right, anything, like if somebody's upset at work, your boss, maybe a coworker or whatever, I'm like, all right, I guess I earned this. And you just start, <laughs> you boy, <laughs> all your pants down, they just... Go to town. They just call, that's your boss calls you into their office. Actually, there are there are porn like there is porn like that. Yeah, that's a lot of porn. A lot of porn. Thank you guys for listening to another episode of Off the Rails with your host Austin Train. Uh, with me as always is Russian collaborator <laughs> Brian Gower. Uh, you can follow us on the social. You follow me on the social media at Austin underscore Train on Instagram and Twitter, and you can follow Brian. Follow Brian's money back to the source and see that he's part of the World Globo Homo Alliance. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.